Hi everyone, my name is Shantaya and I work at the North Branch and today we're going to be talking about journaling. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Journaling is defined as a log, record, blog, notebook, and even history. When I think of journaling, I think of me time, reflection, and peace. I've been journaling in some way, shape, or form since I was a child. I would get a notebook for my birthday or Christmas and be as happy as if it were a Nintendo DSi or an iPod, whatever the latest thing was at that time. And now that I've gotten older, even though I'm not doing it as often as I want to do it, um, which would be daily, I still try to journal as often as I can. Let's look at some of the benefits of journaling. It makes you more self-aware clarifies your thoughts and feelings, can be a form of therapy. It serves as a personal timeline for you to look back on. It's a safe place to vent because the pages don't talk back and there are many more. So how do you start journaling? Simply just go for it. And as I like to say, there really isn't a right or wrong way to do it, pun intended. Um, see when and where you can incorporate journaling into your day-to-day -day life. What do you want to benefit from it? Are you looking for an outlet to express yourself? Do you want to learn more about you and what you like to do? Um, do you just want to doodle and make up stories? And you want to ask yourself, how often do you want to do it? There really aren't any specific rules when it comes to journaling, and that's what I like about it. In my opinion, instructions would just make this boring. So have fun with it and make it whatever you want it to be. Now, some people love the idea of writing on paper, and this is what I do most of the time. But since we are living living in the digital age, others like to use electronics. It's versatile, and so if you're a person that hates writing and you type better, you can whip out your phone, tablet, or laptop and just have at it. And vice versa, if you are a person that hates typing, you don't type as fast, of course, you can pull out the handy dandy pen and have that that as well. If you choose to keep a digital journal, you aren't using up paper, which is good for the environment. And you have an infinite supply of new pages, but just make sure you have enough storage on, on your devices for all of your entries. I also like how some apps can be synced across all of your devices. It makes it easier when you're trying to reference something. And another perk with digital journals is that you can protect your information with the password, unlike a paper journal where you kind of just have to hide it and hope for the best. Um, just keep in mind that it's possible that you could lose all of your entries if you don't back them up. So make sure you just have enough storage and I always like to have a backup for my backup in case um, something goes wrong with that. With paper, you are a little bit more engaged and I know I always remember, th remember things when I write them down so keep that in mind if you want to keep a physical journal. It comes in handy when you're um, when you have a planner. Having a physical journal gives you a break from being on your electronics. And as I'm getting older, I'm looking for more and more ways to not be on my phone and just escape. And this definitely gives me a little bit of a break since it takes a while longer to write than it does to type. Also, something that's important to me is creativity. Um, I have plenty of markers, pens, highlighters, and I like having my own style and my own notebooks and journals. Um, and with most apps, you are stuck with whatever design format that they've chosen. And personally, I just like having that freedom where I can just kind of create my own layout and set it up exactly how I want. And I've used both interchangeably, but there's just nothing like writing on a regular sheet of paper with a nice gel pen. Um, and feeling that paper like underneath your palm. So most of the time that is my method of choice, but ultimately it's just up to you. So once you've figured out which format you want your journal to be in, even if you choose to do both, you wanna look at how you're going to fill it up. There are plenty of ways to get all of your thoughts on paper or screen, so I'll just go ahead and name a few. The first is stream of consciousness. This is where you just go off the dome, whatever's on your mind, just put it out there. And I do this majority of the time. 
when I don't want any structure, um, because I have enough of that in my life, when I just want to do something for form, this is always my, or most of the time, this is my go-to choice. This brings me to the second one, which is prompts and questions. If you feel like you do need a guide and you do need that structure, these will help you out. Um, And you can start off with it and just write whatever that prompt is or write about whatever that prompt is telling you about or answer whatever question that you have. The third is doodles or drawings. Sometimes you just really don't feel like writing and that's where these come in. I kept a drawing tablet when I was younger just to just for um, entertainment purposes. Um, but now it's pretty much dual whenever I can, wherever I can. Um, so this is another option that you have. Number four is keeping a planner. And this is something I have to have in order for me to function. Basically just writing down all of your to-dos, your events, schedules. Um, if you want to include a budget, you can do that as well. Whatever comes to mind. And a really popular form of this is bullet journaling. Bullet journaling kind of combines all of these. And I love it because you can add your own personal touch to it. And I like to have my own creative style when it comes to planners or um, just journaling in general. Um, And this gives me the freedom to do just that. With all of these, you have the option of choosing how long or how frequent you want to do it. Um, whether it's five minutes or until your fingers grow numb. One of my teachers used to call it fingers falling off the bone. But usually I just write for however long I feel like for each time. Like today, I might journal for two minutes. And then tomorrow, I could journal for an hour or or more. It just really depends. And you can choose one method per journal. Or you can use multiple methods just for one journal. And I have a planner, which has all my events, reminders, stuff like that in one. And then I also have another one where I keep notes and just random doodles. So, like I said, it's just all based on preference. Since we've got the basics out of the way, here are a few resources to help you guys. Last but not least, here are a few titles that we have in our system that are available for checkout. Thank you so much for watching and continue to stay safe.